everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today I will be doing a special unboxing. As you've seen in the title, it is Chance, the Pure Perfume 7.5 ml splash bottle because they don't sell these in spray bottles. Actually, we're going to talk quite a bit about pure perfumes at the moment, especially in connection with Chanel, but also in general, the parfum uh, Hmm, genealogy, we could call it in perfumery, as it is of now, in the new decade, in the 20s decade, and what the future holds. First and foremost, thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. On Patreon, you can watch this video ad-free, while on YouTube, you have the ads. Let's see what's inside. I got a little tiny... Uh, bag super cute that they gave me a mini miniature bag for such a big purchase actually because I mean Big things come in small packages. They say also expensive things because the pure perfumes are concentration wise the ratio a dollar or euro per milliliter the highest in the concentration spectrum of fragrances They have some new products. I got a lift uh, eye cream. This one is Botanical Alpha Alpha Concentrate. Really looking forward to this. I, in general, love Chanel's eye creams. And I have used several uh, types of them. Three milliliter. Was it five in the past or two? No, I guess it was always two. But these last me a very long time. I wonder if it's the classic. Yeah, the little tube. Yeah, these last me months and months and months. Like, it's really... I live off of these samples, actually. Hope Chanel isn't listening because they're going to reduce the size of them. <laughs> anyway, what else is in here? This is a bit too oily for my skin, but I do like the feeling of it. It's the Intensive Restoring Treatment. It's like a little stick with oil on it. This one is also very good, but I got to do this always on a weekend if I'm not leaving the house. Just because otherwise it's um, it just oils me up too much and I already have oily skin. And then... This super cute cream, also from the Concentré Botanique. So it's the Botanical Alpha Alpha Concentrate, five gram. Let's see how the box looks like. Super cute. Little five ml cream, which they say is only valid six months after you open it. Okay, I'm gonna definitely try this one out as well. Thank you for that, Chanel, but let's get to the important part of the review, and that would be Sean's. Let me see. Maybe I can reduce. Yeah, there you go. A little bit the lighting here. This is a bit better to see what we're dealing with, especially with these light, I want to call them pearlescent, rosy, pinky hues, and then pale champagne gold hues. So now we're getting to the perfume talk, uh, the pure perfume talk, right? The extract talk. Chanel has started discontinuing most of its pure perfumes, unfortunately, in the regular mass release assortment. So... And they have started calling back to only their boutiques or their own website, most of them. Meaning, well, as I found out right before Christmas, same happened to Chanel Chance. The pure perfume is not available anymore in regular perfumeries. They might have some stock left over, but Chanel is calling them all back. And it is, as of now, a Chanel Boutique Online exclusive, but also Chanel Beauty Boutique exclusive. And you cannot get it anywhere else. And it is only still available in the 7.5 ml, not in the 15 ml bottles. Chanel Allure Sensuelle Pure Perfume has been discontinued. Chanel number no. 19 is now an exclusive to the Chanel boutiques in pure perfume form. However, they, well, they discontinued the spray, but they still have the 7.5 ml and the 15 ml. Coco Noir is still available only as 15 ml, but it only was ever made as a 15 ml splash. Uh, and then Coco Mademoiselle, just like Chanel number no. 5, 
They have a broader spectrum of sizes and as well as spray bottles of the pure perfumes. And they have some leftover stock of Coco, the pure perfume. Not so sure how the future is for Coco's pure perfume uh, version concentration. It might be it might get discontinued as well soon. So let's enjoy this as much as we can. I'm going to, you know, I'm trying to push and help out the pure perfumes because I really don't want them to disappear, you know. I, I would be so sad if pure perfumes were to vanish from the face of the, of this earth, you know, and a lot of people don't use them because a lot of people think, oh, it's such a small quantity and they're so expensive for the quantity, but you know, it's not about, uh, you have to know how to use them, you know, it's not just about the quantity, it's also about the composition and I'm yeah, I'm trying to dose my words dose huh? we're talking about perfumes and here I am dosing words I'm trying to dose my words properly because it's not about the intensity and the strength of the perfume you know how, how strong it smells because people erroneously mostly expect a pure perfume to smell more intense stronger to last longer than the other concentrations that's not always the case because sometimes when the ingredients used for pure perfumes are of higher quality and better blended uh, than their other concentration counterparts, that does create a much subtler and lighter composition, but however, a composition that transits so masterfully from the head notes to the mid notes through to the base notes and the everlasting and ending dry down, ultimately, um, the balance is just so beautiful and even though a lot of pure perfumes stay closer to the skin it's such a joy to to discover them and to wear them and to wear them for yourself obviously more than for others because i say you should always wear perfume for yourself not for others and if others happen to enjoy them as well on you well that's even you know the better but we should never wear them with the intentions of pleasing others but we should only please ourselves because this is something this is an experience this is a key we're wearing for ourselves and smells trigger our memories, and that's important to be surrounded by smells that we like. This box is so beautiful. It's a bit more mattified, pearlescent in the front. Also mattified on the sides, but slightly, I would say, a bit more glossy. Let's see the ingredients. Alcohol, lemon, 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 Nothing exceptional to mention, like oak moss, which of course here we don't have. And then you just lift it up and there it is. It's beautiful glass stopper. Okay, so this one, that's it. This one doesn't have, you know, it's little seal, waxed seal to, to, to break. I, I was not sure if it would have it, but then how can it if it has all this metal around it? And at the bottom we have the tiny, there you go, etched into the metal ring. Parfum made in France, 7.5 ml. The batch code of this one is 4601. It's down there and it should be on the box as well. There it is. 4601. I've never smelled the pure perfume of Chance, so this is for me the first time. Total Chance pure perfume virgin here. This is so tiny, you know, I usually, I, I buy immediately the biggest, well, except for Chanel number no. 5, I can't just buy 900 milliliter pure perfume, that's insane. Um, but I, I, you know, I would recommend getting 15 ml, but it doesn't exist. Look at the double C up there, so cute, it doesn't exist of this one. This is so tiny. Okay, this is, <laughs> it's really tiny. So it's a bit discouraging when you see it. I hope we can open this one without problems. As opposed to the problems we've had with Coromandel. For those of you who remember my first trying to un unbox and open the bottle of the first Coromandel, you could check that out in the card section up above how tragically that went. Okay, here we go. Let's apply it. Pure perfume of Chance. Let me get some more out there. Oh, I love these pure perfume bottles. They're just amazing. Okay. Mmm. Okay, the smell is arriving. 
to my nose already. This is a little glass stopper. It's not plastic, it's definitely glass. Oh, wow, okay. I'm smelling it now. I mean, I will make a, you know, I have to wear this for some time, but I will definitely make a review. A specific, precise review for, for Chanel uh, Chance Parfum. I'm going to need time. I'm going to need to live with this fragrance. I'm going to need to test it, to use it, in order to really get to it, you know, to understand it, to unlock it. At least, it's a, I mean, perfumes like these take years. First of all, Chance was never on my radar, really. I mean, it's been, gosh, what is it, like 20 years now, almost, that it's been released, and 20 years, you guys, <laughs> in the early 2000s, somewhere like that. This is the first time, actually, in purchasing Chanel Chance. Now, minus the flankers, you know, here's our Eau Tendre. <laughs> this is so funny, by the way. 7.5 ml, the smallest available dosage of chance you can purchase, and the biggest 150 ml of the Eau Tendre flanker. I don't want to lay this one flat, I don't want it to leak, but anyway. Um, so the only time I actually ever purchased chance as chance was in this set, and you could check out the review also in the card section up above, but also in the description box underneath this video, in my pencil case set, the perfume scented pencils for the skin of all of the three flankers of Sean's plus the actual Sean's. So this is the first time that I tested Sean's, you know, on my own skin. And I am using it. As you can see, it was a pointy pencil. Now it's like, I, I'm really using it a lot. And I'm enjoying it so much. So for me, that that kind of, this kind of triggered me, I'm smelling the perfume, uh, to, to test it out more. And the the pencil does come pretty close to the concept of like, of like Chance as I'm smelling it now from the pure perfume. I have to say, it's so wonderful. Jacques Paul did a great job with this one. And perhaps it was ahead of its time. I mean, it was very successful when it came out. It was the first time Chanel brought out a round bottle instead of a square bottle. Chance does have a quintessential early 2000s vibe about it. Smelling it again, but now that so many years have passed, almost 20 years, it, it's it's shedding its early zeros or naughties skin, and it's becoming timeless, at least for my nose. And that's why it became so important for me to kind of, re not rediscover, to, re to discover for the first time the pure perfume. Um, now, so many times, so many years later... It, and I think it has to do with the fact that times are ripe enough now that we're ready for this. I mean, my nose is ready for it now. It took me only almost almost 20 years, but God damn it, I got there. <laughs> I'm in there now. Smelling it. Let me add some more. It's, you know, for first impressions, I, you know, we're going to do a proper review, but it's very delicate. It's very soft. It's not overpowering at all. It delicately um, swings from my arm to my nose kind of glides through the air onto my into my nose and and I smell it it's it's slightly citrusy acidy citrusy um almost like oily citrusy in the opening notes and but I'm not going to dissect the notes now and you know we're going to do a proper review right this is just the first impressions first impressions it's delicate close to the skin very welcoming it is clean like most Chanel perfumes are clean and posh in a way. This one is not just the type of sophistication that we're used to from Ernest Beau's uh, creations. This one has um, a slightly more flirty vibe about it. it. You know, it's it's kind of, you could say, uh, diagonally opposed to Chanel number no. 19, the pure perfume. You know, number 19 is all about the cool detached, sophisticated person wearing it that it's just, I don't want to say emotionless. I still believe that that person has a heart, that number 19 has a heart. There's a sadness to number 19 that Chance doesn't have. 
Chance is more happy. If we were to compare it to the Golden Girls, uh, you could say Chance is more of a Rose. <laughs> and uh, number 19 is more of a Dorothy Zbornak, and this is more of a Rose Nyland. I mean, you know, Rose Nyland, and it's a rosy color. There you go. That matches too, but... Mm, it's really good, but it is definitely, definitely... It marks the 2000s, and now the 20 years almost have passed. It kind of makes more sense to me, just like when I smell uh, Chanel number 22. Even though I haven't, obviously, lived in the 20s, I mean, the 1920s. Uh, I don't know why, but it's as if I had a memory of them, you know, through my soul somehow. So when I smell Chanel number 22, I feel like I am in the 20s. And... I feel like, oh, okay, this is how the 20 smells. Chanel number no. 5 is a bit more different. Chanel number no. 5 kind of cuts through time, and even though it came out in, in the early 20s, it still doesn't feel like it, it's a perfume from the 20s. It feels like it's from another planet altogether. Um, it, it's just that amazing. And number 22 is also that amazing, but number 22 has something about it that feels historic. It doesn't smell old, but historic. And the same thing happens to this little fella here. Now, if it were just released, you know, if we were now in the year, in the early 2000s when this one was released, we would say, oh, it's a new fresh perfume for, you know, the year it's launched and blah, blah, blah. But now we can see it from a distance. We, we can contextualize it. We can place it in the time it was released. And now that so many years have passed and, and we think about it, we think about how the early 2000s were, you know, which movies came out, how was the political situation back then, you know, up to which point was technology back then. Um, a lot of things were, were happening, and uh, we're light years away now, 20 years later, almost 20 years later, so that this perfume smells of that time. Because since then, nothing like this came out. We don't have a perfume that smells like this released today. Uh, and so this one becomes one of the keys of Chanel perfumes, of Chanel perfume history. One of those keys, not delivered by Ernest Beau or Henri Robert, but by Jacques Polge, another amazing and I think genius perfumer that uh, Chanel, the house of Chanel had the luck of having to work for them. That was my first impressions. I don't know how the dry down will be. Don't ask me about projections, sillage, and all that shebang because it's going to take me a while to get there. As of now, I'm loving the little tiny bottle. The, just everything. It's just uh, the attention to detail is just so gorgeous. The proportions are not the best. This is a bit too long as opposed to the size of the roundness of it. But anyway, whatever. It, it is what it is. Loving the box. It's very sturdy. There's a lot of hand movement that went into folding this and putting all this paper into place and there's a sponge at the bottom that softens uh, the bottles fall and then you know they don't do stickers anymore here they just it's not stuck at the top so it always stays like that when you open it um i say yes to it you know help these perfumes out so that they don't disappear i know chanel is a house that earns a lot of money and it's not like they need this, but I need this. <laughs> I need pure perfumes. I don't want them to disappear. I don't want them to get discontinued, you know? So expect more pure perfume reviews and videos uh, from me on my channel because it's worth it to preserve this art. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you have, please do thumb it up and let me know what you think about Chance in general, any concentration, but in particular, in the comment section down below, but in particular, if you do have the pure perfume, because I want to know how many of us out there have it, and how many of us are actually purchasing it and using it. Review coming up as soon as I get to understand this beauty a bit more. Love you all. Until next time, never forget to never give up on love. See you soon. Take care. Bye.